Joining me now is Dr. Paula Kahumbu, the CEO of Wildlife Direct from Nairobi. Paula, it's so wonderful to see you, and you have had some really great news. You won the Rolex National Geographic Explorer of the Year Award. Congratulations. Tell us how big a deal this is for you personally and for Africa. Zane, thank you so much. This is a huge deal. Um, when I was a child, the explorers were typically people who were blonde, blue-eyed, pale-skinned, and male. Uh, what National Geographic are doing here is recognizing that people, women, people from the global south, underrepresented voices, are being celebrated for their expertise and their professionalism in their fields as international experts. This is opening the doors for so many more explorers around the world in many different sectors and spheres. And um, I think what it's doing is really leveling the playing field and putting us on equal par. Um, this is what's necessary if National Geographic is truly to be a global organization that is going to change hearts and minds around the world. Paula, for many years, you have been studying the impact of development on wildlife and how it triggers conflict. What are some of the trends that you've seen? Zane, it's actually catastrophic what's happening in Africa today. There are international companies that are developing huge amounts of infrastructure, roads, railways, pipelines, power lines, mining, oil drilling, and it's happening inside our protected areas and it's disrupting our wildlife migration. I think we need solutions quick before we end up with a continent without much biodiversity left. But Paula, Africa needs investment. It needs job creation. It needs international partnerships and relationships. And, and we want to trade with different countries around the world and build these, these partnerships. Where do you see um, a, a, a middle ground where you can have both? Uh, we can absolutely have both a healthy environment and development. It just takes a bit of smart thinking. Uh, it's been done in other countries, right? We don't have to have these developments that are interrupting or degrading our landscapes. The overuse of pesticides, the pollution that we're seeing is just not sustainable. Um, we have to demand better development, especially from international investors in the continent, because Africa of all the continents cannot afford to disrupt its vital life-supporting systems. 